is there a difference between living things and non-living things? Because the process that, as you just described it, is very much feeling like a continuum, you know, some molecular order that emerges and it starts replicating. And then, you know, there's some other structures that end up maybe having some symbiosis with that and then, you know, forming more and more complex things all the way up to the cell. And I do think it's really important um, to acknowledge that the origin of life transition probably is not one transition. A lot of the way that I think about the origin of life right now is in terms of major transitions in molecular systems. So if you think about the origin, you know, we have cellular life and in evolutionary biology, they'll talk about major transitions in evolution, you know, single cells evolve to multicellular organisms, evolve to social systems, social systems with language. So there's like a hierarchy of processes that we can readily identify because we see all of the structure around us and we can classify that hierarchy. Within a cell, it's harder because the cell is one functioning unit and we don't really think about the autonomy of individual molecular systems within a cell. Um, but probably the origin of life was some kind of cascade of major transitions in molecular organization and, and the only relic we have of them now is what the modern cellular architecture is.